Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for tonight's main event. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the wall. Garcia is on his way to take this tough challenge inside the ropes, but not much focus and passion in these final moments leading the way here. Romero is ring walk, just a cool, calm stride to him. Looks like just another day in his life. room let's touch gloves you got this one. opening you three minutes of this scheduled 12 rounder hey 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 let's go so the early action here in this fight should reveal an edge Garcia's got speed he can move well they say speed kills he doesn't have an accident. He doesn't get reckless with that speed. Not precise at all by Razor. Keep working, bud. Razor's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Nice block. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Good work defensively by Garcia. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Garcia's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Keep it up. Side to side, move your head. Garcia's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. The he did it there well. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. But you're losing this fight. We need you to take some chances now. You have to take a chance with this guy, all right? You got that? You have to take a risk. Jab your way, okay? Whatever you do. Standing straight up. Move that body. 
You need to move that body more. Nice work. You can't handle your speed. It's too much. Here we go. Round two is underway. Move. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by the Flash. Uppercut. He's in bad shape. Nice block by Garcia. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. That's a nice right hand that time by Romero. He missed that uppercut. The Flash is absorbing a left hand. Teddy, he may go down just by stumbling the way he's fumbling around this ring. Well, he's got to stop moving. Actually, you never want to fight over. He probably needs to be on the ropes just to steady him and then move his head a little bit. That might be his only shot. And just grabbing on to his opponent. <gasps> nice block by Razor. Okay. Romero's shocked right there. He's all shook up after being hit hard. Both men have gotten to each other. Final 10 seconds of round number two. That's the kind of round that tells you all you need to know about what kind of fight this is. Back and forth action, both guys hurt. That's the kind of round that you better make sure that you did all your work in the gym, that you're in shape because more to come. Relax, relax, you're okay, you're okay. But Teddy, he looks fully recovered now. Well, it tells me two things. One, he has good genetics. He recovers fast, you know. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punch. Well, the old timers used to say when you calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Fighters told us that they want to have a similar approach early. Throughout the night.
And coming. Three minute round. Garcia's hurt from that. <laughs> he goes from damaged goods to defensive goods. Yeah, because right now he's fighting on instincts. He's doing things without even thinking. It's just automatic things. Things that he was taught five years ago, three years ago, that maybe he thought about, but he didn't do. Now they're just coming out. He's just naturally surviving. Protecting his head well with his guard. Good right hand by Garcia. Good way to protect the midsection. Garcia's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. All right. Deep breath now. Deep breath. Relax. Relax. Are you all right? I need you to keep your hands up. You keep your hands up. Don't worry now, all right? I just I need you to focus. Okay, listen. I want to see that straight right. Throw the jab and then straight down the middle. You got that? Jab, jab, right. Razor's enjoying a lead on Teddy's scorecard the first time we look at the scores ring. Nice defense, good block by Romero. Really frustrating his opponent now. Romero is so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I tentative, he's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's gonna leave an opening. Took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. He's getting a little discouraged that his opponent is not showing a lot of effect from all those shots. Nice block by Garcia. Garcia's just not showing me enough offense right now. He's, I mean, I understand he did get hurt earlier. Yeah, he did. But he still has to put something forth. Yeah, he does. It's kind of like that kid who gets his hand caught in a cookie jar.
another way. He needs to find another way. As we come to the end of the round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, that's one of those rounds where I wonder what were the judges looking for because it's tough to kind of draw a line between those two fighters. Yeah, very close, but one of those rounds where you could steal it. You did a little bit more in those last 30, 20 seconds. Maybe that's the impression the judges are left with. If you want this fight, you gotta stay busy out there, all right? Because you're losing this fight. Why? Because you're not throwing any punches at me. Fine looking right hand by Razor. Garcia's left, working well that time. The Flash's right hand scores well. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an... Shot returning fire. Well done by the flash. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. I shake it off. Romero's well off the mark that time. It's okay. Pay him back. All right, Teddy, let me put you back in your old job here. You're going to be trainer here. Now, we're just coming off of a round there. We're clearly, I think he won the round, but it's a close competitive fight that your guys probably win. Yeah, I know what not to tell him. I'm not telling him he's winning. That's what I'm not telling him. I want to make sure that he... ...that I think he's up is because he's keeping the punch output. He's staying sharp defensively. You know, he's still attacking in the spots that he should attack. I want to keep it that way. Or very, very even, closely contested bout throughout. Romero has been able to let loose. He's throwing punches. He's just not landing enough of them. Well, he's throwing them from a little too far away. He's not getting into hey, that punching chamber. He's go. starting to launch him just a little too soon and his opponent is warm. Went to the body there, but unable to connect.
Watch that. Halfway through round six. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. by that. Teddy, he's He was a guy who was taught how to slip right in front of a guy and make the guy miss. Then at least he could do that. Right now, his only chance is to grab because the legs are not going to be there for him. any of his opponent's headshots landing flush. And what his opponent has to do, Joe, is make an adjustment. What we used to tell the fighters, when the guy's elusive, like this fighter is right now, you have to shorten your punches up. Shorten them up a little bit, have less space to travel. They have a better chance of getting to that elusive target. see one punch now, all right? You throw in the uppercut, but I need to see another punch here. He steps inside, uppercut and hook. Uppercut and finish with a hook. Got it? Six rounds in the books, six to go. Tugging. <sighs> nice block by Garcia. The Flash is really making some boxing purists out there put a smile on their face because his defense has been stellar. I mean, so fundamentally sound. Yeah, well, that's why he always goes rounds, and that's why people think he has an iron chin. I don't know if he has an iron chin, because the chin never gets touched. He's a guy that's always going rounds because... Keep working about it. Now hugging on the inside. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Nice, nice. Keep your head moving. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Up. That's it. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Romero is giving me.
the non-stop clinching, it really tells you where he stands. Yeah, it does because that's not his way. That has not been his makeup, his personality before. So you know something's not right right now, and his opponent is starting to understand that. Ten clicks <laughs> of the talk. Oh, Relax. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. That's it. Now listen. There you go. Not too bad. Okay. Let's get him some water. Let's get him some water. Take a deep breath. Relax. You have to start doubling that jab, okay? Double that jab. That will put us in position. The Flash has been the more effective fighter. He's doing damage. He's winning. He's scoring well. Your scorecard reflects that as we start round number eight. Yeah, he's doing it the old-fashioned way. He's outworking the other guy. Good block there by Garcia. <sighs> Leveled a good straight punch, put him there. giving that to you because he is as you said just a quick knockdown but right now what he's got to be careful for that's a good block by Garcia the halfway point of round number eight good stuff great action this round just a minute 30 in and they're going all out I'm tired just watching it imagine how they feel the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. He missed by a... We come to the end of this round, and for this fighter, I think that's a good thing because I was looking at him there, Teddy, and it looked like he was breathing in and out of his mouth for most of that round. Yeah, and that's a bad sign. That means that the gas tank is a little low. He's low on petrol. Shot. Now listen, you need to keep that. moving out there. Real good sign for him right here. He's coming out and looks fresh. He's up on his toes and boxing the way he was. That after a round in which he was knocked down. Yeah, that's about DNA. That's about genetics. I mean, he has good recovery skills. That's it. 
<laughs> oh, he just misses with that headshot. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Misses his opponent's headshot. <laughs> Romero's got no chance. Guys start to deteriorate, not just physically outside, but inside. Maybe he's given up already. And maybe he doesn't want to fall down. He knows everybody's going to see that. But maybe this is his way of getting out of there. He knows the ref's going to stop it. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. And that does it for this round. Romero's in position to win this fight. Trust me when I say that. It's a close fight. He may be trailing, but he can go out there and still take this. I know you got the power. Carry it away and you'll catch him. Good action through. Good right hand. Watch the hook. Parries that punch away.
Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Nash is proving here that you can't hit what you can't reach. See the and a power shot lands, and all of a sudden. Counting down towards the end of the 10th round. 10 seconds to go. You won that round, all right? Got any more of these? Oh, I'll give you one. Hold it. More blood? Uh, yeah. your hands up. Don't worry now, right? I just I need you to focus and keep you your hands up and okay. keep working the jab, okay? Double up the jab and just keep moving. You okay? Good. I need you to use your feet, all right? Move around. And... You know, we've been raving about Ferocious his opponent knows that as well. Yeah, I hate to say this and say something that is so used. It's such a overused phrase, but it comes down Carries that punch intended for the head. He's throwing a lot of punches. Movement. What adjustments can he make to deal with that movement? Well, Joe, when you're fighting a guy who's smart, who's hard to hit, first of all, you got to shorten those punches up. If they're wide, they have no chance at all. And you got to go to the one place that's not moving. Guess where that is? Downstairs. You need to keep that head moving. Seconds to go in this 11th round. Keep working the body. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Last opponent after blocking a shot. Don't let them stop the fight. We want to win this week. You gotta win. You gotta win.
Okay. We got this one. Last round and it's yours. Here you go. Okay. Keep your distance and Given a lot tonight. Now one more opportunity to give a little more. The final round is upon us. He missed with that headshot. Come on, kid, focus. Garcia's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Romero's defense. <laughs> Halfway through this 12th and final round. Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by Romero. All right, here we go. Last 60 seconds of the fight. Okay, let's go. Good block there by Garcia. This was a very, very <laughs> Romero's your winner by a unanimous. But no, we wound up getting a strategic fight. Thanks for being with us, everybody. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.